great night, great night, my kings and queens. Wake up and be authentic. You don't know it's your girl authentic. Queen Simone come for drop some authentic spiritual lessons in the Monday night. So I could just go straight, straight, straight into it and itch. Procrastination kills purpose. You see? Any dream you wanna have, anything you wanna want to know, anything. If you don't want to save some money right now, if you don't want to go, 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 go the, the, the clothes you don't want to go wash, that chest of drawer you don't want to go clear out, anything you don't want to do, get up and do it. Get up and do it. We we'll put off things too much and then it end up backfire on us or we just have these regrets. So... Only hear me talk often times, we listen to the audio, only hear me talk sometimes about this friend that I have with name Simone. She, I always say, when time we go out, people always I say, me name Simone and she name Simone, and I lie where I tell her. I mean, I tell her, say, she used to sell the fish when the prostitute them sit down on the street side. Now, last year, she admitted in the hospital, she was very, very ill, very sick. And she said to me, Simone, as I come out of the hospital, so, I go give my life to God, I go baptize. I say, Simone, make sure you do it, you know. You know, because she's very, very ill. Couldn't keep down nothing to say I must God save her because she did feel like she was dead. Anyway, she come out of the hospital and I call her. I say, all right. And she said, she'll get ready for go to one little party. I say, no, you say, yeah, go. I want hospital, you know, go. She said, mouth cut cross way, you know, I just go and enjoy life. So I say you have to be careful how you play with God and word and so you know. She say oh, yeah, me, I just enjoy life and I saw it going you know, on. One of them days people have to go away and so. So I and I talked the whole of last week. And then Wednesday I decided to call her. I went to call her. She said, she, I say, oh, you sound like you're asleep. She said she did in the hospital. She admitted again in the hospital last week, Wednesday. Anyway, I call her back Thursday. She feel weak. I don't like how she sound because she don't normally sound. So her voice like powerful, like how my one with a sound. And then, I call her now for Mother's Day. I call her sat there, I don't hear her. This morning, I call her again, the phone dead. Until my mother call me and tell me, say, she dead. I'm telling her something about my authenticity. I'm not going to say, if she never did give her life to God, maybe she would have her. I'm going to say that. But I just look into things and I say, it was last year she said she had give her life to God. Even with you when she come out of the hospital, she said she had go to church and she never go. And now, she's no longer with us. I mean, I tell you, I feel it. All of you sit down right to start talking. I threw my ball out. I threw my ball out my eye wall before. It happened like, I get the call like about six to seven hours ago. And I have a session with me that for go up on six o'clock. So picture that. Say me have a session and me just hear say my friend dead. Me never have no friend with dead. Me never have no close friend with me and them a friend. When me and them used to par and party and go all about. Even when time, even when me and go on my journey, we still have friend. We still talk. You me tell yourself for two weeks, me and I talk straight on the phone. She named Simone just like me. And we are talk sometimes and you know, and we did and she has some proud of you. I still have the voice note them when she send come. And I just remember me and say, look what last week she said she had give her life to God. What if she did go into the church? Maybe she would still be here today. Nobody know. But I'm saying procrastination. She keep on putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. Until no more. Oftentimes we put off things. We put off things because we can't bother. We put off things because of habit. We put off things because sometimes we are say, you know, used to. This used to mentality where we have. Anything we want to have out there. Now, if you don't have no dream, if you don't have no house, the, the bathroom for go clean, go clean it. If you don't need to call somebody for tell them sorry, call them. If you don't forget to get up and go do something, go open me like a bank account, go on. If you need to look a free online course, go on, go do the local course. Go on, go do it. Because one move where you make today can change your life tomorrow. I tell you I feel it. I'm there to lie down. I don't know how I'm so strong. Pan the, pan, pan the live and the talk for two hours. Pan a Zoom session. We are talking about confidence in authenticity. I'm going to go write down some little something. Now. So I'm going to put down the book. I'm going to write. I'm going to read nothing out. I'm going to fling down the book one side. And talk out of my heart. And deliver. Despite the fact that I go through. I've never had a friend with that. The first who did close to me back in the day was my grandmother. 
Now when she, I was 10, so I probably never like feel the, the experience, like the good experience. Like say so the experience, like the experience with her, but her 10 years are me get. But me and Simone are friends for more than 10 years. You are she a 40 something now. You have to call it say me and her friend for 20 something years. And you know all these years when me used to party and go out. And me and her used to party and go out. Even when we stop go out, she go find one girl who look just like me for party with. Till people all say, what a way your friend find somebody who look just like you. People say, you're not a girl or sister, you're not a favor, the two of them up. She go find a friend for replace you, you look just like you. Because me and I would burn like that. Anything you want to have to go out, they go do it. Because I know say, if someone lie down now in her state now and her spirit, she probably has say she did ever go to church. Last year she said she come out so she go back, she go go to church and give her life to God. One move where you make can change your entire life. And until this day, she still not reach the church. Procrastination kills purpose. Procrastination are the prize for purpose. Anything you want to have to get up and do it. Not for we no reach further and level because we put off things too much. We keep on put off, or put off, put off to tomorrow. Don't put off for tomorrow what, what the divine infinite spirit wants you to do today. Just have faith and go off for it. Even if you feel like you're tired, you know, from when I do my little exercise and my something, I'm going to tell you, say, I would you start jog back and, and start doing my little thing. And sometimes I don't feel like I do it, but I get up and do it. Because I know so the decision I make today can impact my life. Yeah, right now, I thought to my head that hurt me. Because I just said, John was star. What if? What if she had, had made that step and never procrastinate? Last year, this time, I remember because I was pregnant and I was talking to her. What if? So anything you want to have to do, you want to just go deal with it. I tell you, I feel it to my core. I feel it. It's like say, I doubles me a ear. I don't even want to put up nothing where it's not RIP, nothing. I don't want to put up that underneath my friend. I'd never have a friend we pass. Never. When me and them did close. Me hear people say them have people with them and them did close at the first me experience this. Me picture your friend I talk for the whole week last week. Me and I a talk. The only day we never talk a Tuesday when we call her Wednesday, she's actually at hospital. Ah last week Sunday, me and I a kin of teeth and I laugh and I get joke. The two we kinda of have similar personalities, so we understand each other, me understand her. I would talk for long. And she said, I'm proud of you, Simone. I'm proud of you. I love where you do. I love where you do. Keep on a push. But I don't hear she has said she has something where she has to do. All she depend. If nothing to do her, her mother, I go keep her picking them. That's all she depend. That's all she depend. She have a son and a daughter. They're very young too. I know how they are going to manage. But I will go down there and look for them sometime. So I know they are alright in the sense of not going to want nothing. I not going to want you know, things like that, but I mean emotionally and so forth. So anything you want to have to do, don't put it off because procrastination kills purpose. You want to write your book, anything you want to write, write it. Because each time I talk to them, I take the advice for myself to go back and listen to it. You want to start that business, start it. Start where you are. You don't have to start with a big abadash or a big old sale at the same time. Buy one, 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 one coca full basket. Buy one and do on a half do. Start the process. I start the process of the exercising tomorrow. I get up again. Because she did sick. She did have an illness. Yeah. And she never take her health 100. And every time she says she going to do this, she don't do it. Put off, put off.
For anything wanna have go for it. That's way this a teach me. It teach me that because she and I are talking or something know what she say. So it a teach me, it a teach me. Say, yeah, well, anything where you have to do, try go and go do it. Don't put off nothing to go on because the one move where you make can make the greatest impact in your life. Anything where you want, you want to go to school, you don't have the money, start to do the research. You want to go to college, start search out some, some college also. Anywhere where you want to go, start the process. God will open the way, God will make the way, God will make the rest of the way for you. You have to make it. I'm saying, ask and it shall be given. See, can you shall find a knock and the door will open. Go feed, do some research, start the process. Go up on the internet, go up on anywhere you want to go up on. Go look for college, write it down and manifest it. And start one on one. Do that store they want to want open. Start at your yard with a little online store. Start with two something. No watch no face when nobody wants to say. Because you don't want to live a life of regret and say, what if? What if? My authenticians, I'm not going to stay 100, I'm not going to stay long, 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 and some of us are making no say procrastination kill purpose. Right about now, I moan for my friend. Right about now, I me 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 process some things and I learn some things. I would just know so we still have to tread the journey, we still have to pull through, and there's always. Always a silver lining behind the dark cloud, and there's also a lesson in the in the earth, and also a lesson in all of the things. Them have an authentic life. God bless you, and I salute the divinity in you all. Stop put off procrastination kills purpose. Love you. Mwah. <laughs>